Hi everyone, it's Sydney and I'm here to tell you about a cool new GMO crop that should be available in the near future called the Purple Tomato. It gets its name because it is actually purple in color, which is super cool. So you might be wondering what makes the Purple Tomato purple? Um, the purple color comes from a subset of flavonoid molecules which are responsible for giving fruit and vegetables all of their colors and this subset is called anthocyanins which are responsible for uh, red, blue, and purple fruits and vegetables that we eat. Like many GMOs, the purple tomato is made from barring a system that is already naturally found in another crop or another plant and then that system is inserted into the tomato. However, something unique about the purple tomato GMO is that Tomatoes already contain DNA code to produce anthocyanins. However, in normal tomatoes, this gene is not turned on or expressed. Um, snapdragons, which are a type of flower that you can see on the right, contain two co-expressive genes called Rosia 1 and Delilah, and they are responsible for anthocyanin accumulation by turning on the genes that are responsible for anthocyanin production. So essentially they're like an on switch and by barring those two genes from the snapdragon, um, it controls anthocyanin production in the tomatoes, turns it on, and the tomatoes get a purple color. So you might be wondering, why do we want more anthocyanins? Are there benefits? So anthocyanins are a type of antioxidant and it's long been thought that um, benefits of eating anthocyanins occur because it's an antioxidant, um, which are thought to protect against free radicals. But in recent years and with more studying, researchers think it might be more complex than just being an antioxidant. Um, and they're not 100% sure why there seem to be health benefits to eating anthocyanins. However, some observed benefits from e eating increased anthocyanins are a lower incidence of type 2 diabetes. Um, so Researchers, researchers in this study determined that people who consumed the most anthocyanins in the study were 23% less likely to develop type 2 diabetes, um, and it also had some helpful effects on insulin-resistant patients, making them able to have a more um, effective treatment. Another observed study was increased cognitive function. Um, this was found when researchers saw that it was that eating increased anthocyanins was associated with um, more neuronal signaling in the brain centers, mediating memory function, um, as well as improves, improved glucose disposal, which um, plays a role in neuro neurodegeneration. So um, eating anthocyanins decreased neuro de neurodegeneration through that pathway. Another observed benefit was a lower risk of overall mortality, but also a lower risk of stroke mortality. A significant um, decrease in the likelihood of dying from a stroke was found in a study of thousands of males in Sweden. So is the purple tomato safe? And what do we know about it? So the purple tomato was invented in 2008 um, by an English scientist. And since from 2008, until 2022, it's been going through 14 years of rigorous testing. Um, they voluntarily submitted a food and feed safety and nutritional assessment to the um, FDA, which they did not have to do, but they volunteered to, and it has not been released. It should be released in the next few months. Um, and the purple tomato got USDA approval in September 2022. So some studies that were conducted about the purple tomato um, found that mice who a, these purple tomatoes had an average um, 182 day increase in their average lifespan um, than the control study mice. Another notable study um, found that um, the anthocyanins in the purple tomatoes um, delayed the time that tomatoes kind of went bad or got wrinkly. Um, in this photo, you can see that um, a regular tomato, so that would be photos one and two, the top two photos, and the genetically modified photos on the bottom, um, 
that's so the picture on the left are taken right when they're harvested and then the picture on the right were taken two months later and you can see that the purple tomato is significantly um, more healthy looking than the one on top. So these should be available as soon as 2023 coming to a grocery store near you. So if you see one, uh, pick one up, get your antioxidants in, your anthocyanines, um, just not from Whole Foods. Thank you.